he was upset about something and uh, he stormed out of the house and we were at, we were staying with a friend in Charlotte for a gig and he played the gig and we all went out and got drunk. Came back to his house and, uh, and he got upset about something, I can't remember what. But he went outside, I, I went out after him and he got mad. They started yelling at me, and uh, sprinkler scared it out of me. <laughs> um, he started yelling at me, and uh, I started making fun of him. So he started to run away from me. And Nathan, Nathan was a very tall guy, you know, short legs. I'm six one. You know, I got a good, good stride. <laughs> And he was running as fast as he could, and I was just like jogging beside him and, and going, what are you gonna do? And just messing with him. And, and uh, he didn't want to hit me, because he knew I'd hit him back. But uh, he turned and he screamed at me, and then he turned around and there was a, a privacy fence behind him that we were running along, and he just punched it. And when he did, he, he sat down and. We talked. <laughs> I got him to come back to the house, and then I, he didn't even. I looked down at his hand, and it was just swollen. And we started icing it, and so he still went on and played the show with the broken hand. Yeah, he was a hardcore motherfucker, man. I remember the sunrise gig. I don't remember staying. I don't think I stayed for that. That was a pay gig too. That was a big gig. It was a big deal. Like, it was just this big, huge production, and only Nathan would try to pull something like that off. The Sunrise Theater were kind of one, another one of those things that Nathan had a vision about it. He had a vision about, he had a vision about these shows, and he had it all lined up how, in his head how he wanted it to go down. And, um, it didn't exactly go down exactly the way you wanted to as far as like the um, the setup. There were delays, you know, of course, with the technician. The, uh, the drum monitors aren't working. She's not getting anything out of them at all. Nathan was so serious about these performances. Like I remember we started practicing like all of us together a month out and the rehearsals were very structured. And if one of us couldn't be at the rehearsal, like, you know, you didn't want to hear it. You know, like, and I don't care if all you were doing on a song was singing oohs and ahs, and you know, you better be, you better be there. You better be there, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna get it. There was drama. Nathan overreacted a little bit, but he was under a lot of pressure. And I think everybody looking uh, hindsight you know, they understood, you know, the other musicians understood the day of was, was a lot of pressure on everybody. <laughs> we screwed up so many times.
some points we had like 10 people on stage, you know, um, brought together other musicians from, you know, other bands that we had hung out with and just to have all those people on that stage and to have the space and, you know, to have this pretty good crowd for a hometown little theater show. I remember it just kind of felt, it to me, just because I had, I knew all the people who were singing and playing with him, that it kind of had this Partridge family kind of feel. Friday and a Saturday, and um, I definitely say like both of the shows had good crowds, um, but both of the shows also had different sets. I'd hope you're like, man, he's really talented. Because they never heard him, like, you know, but they don't get out past 10 o'clock. So. You had a big audience, and um, everything had to be like clockwork. It was tough because. He had a lot of responsibility on his shoulders. He was basically running the whole thing. There was one night I was actually sitting next to Nathan's dad. His parents just could not have been, it was like watching their, their child just achieve everything in life that they've ever wanted to achieve. There was definitely a, like a momentum that was building and I almost wish that it was like a week long series because we had spent so much time in that theater, you know, all day Friday and like even during the day on Saturday and you know, it's just kind of like we got, I got really attached to just being there. It was amazing. I do remember the Sunrise shows being like probably one of the most defining moments for me, like really knowing that no matter what I chose to do, I wanted to pursue music in some fashion. Trust survive.